Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this video is sponsored by Lee and Lee so I can show off their new universal display, which fits nicely inside your case or outside and can be really easily installed in a variety of positions. And as you can see, you can use it in both portrait and landscape modes. It's controlled by Lee and Lee's L Connect software and allows you to show off a number of different things in here with temperature readouts and performance metrics of your system available at a glance with various different themes applied to it. You can also use more than one of these displays in your system if you absolutely love screens and it's really easy to install and set them up and wire those in as well. I'm going to show you some of that in this video and I'm going to have a separate more in-depth guide on the process and how to set it up in various different ways like this and the links to those videos will be down in the description below. But as you can see you can use the screen to basically make the case look a lot nicer either hiding away little bits of the case that you don't like or positioning it in ways so you can easily see what's going on in your system at a glance. This is a compact yet vibrant screen, which is an IPS LCD, 8.8 .8 inches with a resolution of 1920 by 480, 500 nits brightness and 60 hertz refresh rate. As I mentioned, it's controlled by L Connect 3 and in that software, you can obviously adjust various different backgrounds and templates that are there as standard. You can tweak the brightness, turning it all the way off if you don't want it on at certain times of day, for example. And obviously you can rotate between portrait and landscape modes. The RGB lighting effects around the edge of the screen can also be adjusted. More on that in a little while. And as well as the various templates that you have as standard, you could also switch it into an additional screen mode where you can get it to display windows and then use that for whatever purpose you want. This includes using it to watch prawn videos, for example, or perhaps something more useful like Twitch chat. I prefer to stick to the various different readouts and you have a load of different templates in here and you can customize your own and build your own out as well. I'll show you that later on too. But as you can see in the box, you get a number of different things. Now the screen itself has a nice solid design to it. It feels quite hefty in the hand and is well built and well constructed as you can see from this. I was immediately struck by that when I got it out of the box because it's pretty solid in its metal housing. It is a little deep, but that's not necessarily a problem because you don't really see it when it's installed in the case. You will notice there are two connectivity points here. So you have two connections that you can use. You only need to use one of these, but one's on the end and one's on the side there. So you can choose how you're plugging it in depending on where you're putting it in the case. The box includes two cables and these can be used to connect it to your system in different ways as well, giving you different options. The basic setup is to take the USB cable and plug the tiny connector for that into one of the ports on the end. Your choice there, depending on where you're mounting it in the case. You then have this connection, which is an internal USB cable. This connects to the bottom middle of your motherboard. And you'll probably find you've got a couple of these located down there to make it easy to connect these up. So that is a very straightforward bit of wiring, as you can see. The other thing that's really nice is you also have straightforward installation if you want with 3M sticky pads, which you can apply to the back. Here, I'm using the screen to actually cover up a hole at the back of the case in the 4000D from Corsair. So you can see we can mount it here and cover up that gap nicely showing off the screen, but also making the case look a little bit nicer. From that, then you just need to run the cable back and plug it into the USB port on this rear connect motherboard. And then I've got a screen, which is not only giving me the stats that I want to see, but it's also covering over the gap that I didn't want to. So you can use it in different ways, as you can see. Very nice. The other option is to use this USB extension lead, which changes the way the port connects up. So you plug the USB cable into this and then it runs to a USB-A port. This means that you can then plug it into the back of your motherboard. Now this is handy if you don't have free internal USB ports that you can use, but also can be used if you mount the display outside the case so you can see it here mounted at the back. In terms of mounting, you have this little plate which mounts to the rear and you have three different positions that you can mount it in. The other advantage of this plate is that it is, as you can see, very versatile. So it twists on the housing in different directions so it can be easily adjusted. It's also got this toothed run on it so you can move it side to side and up and down so you can easily adjust the position once in the case and during the installation process, making it very straightforward to install. Now this is intended to mount the display on top of 120mm fans 
as I'll show you in a second, you can also do it at 140 millimeter. You secure it to the fans by screwing the fan screws through the bracket and into the fans and then you have them set up like this so that you can then reposition the screen as you want to inside the system so inside a case that would look something like this i wouldn't recommend doing it while it's on but i just did it here for ease of purpose i've actually mounted the bracket to the end of the fans in this case so it's not even in the way but also means that you can put it up against the side but you can mount them on top like this and as i'll show later it doesn't interfere with the temperature performance either of the fans in my testing and experience and then you can just slot it in as you want to alternatively to mount it to the outside of the case we're just running the fan screws to secure the rear fan through the bracket through the case and into the fans there and then it's held in place that way and then you just simply adjust it into the position you want to in terms of the height and positioning so there's also an additional bracket included which you can clip on to this mounting bracket and then screw in place this is then used so you can then install it on 140 millimeter fans so you can see you've got plenty of options in terms of how you mount it where you mount it and how you position it whether you want it in landscape or portrait whether you want it against the glass at the bottom of the case at the top of the case at the side of the case you have loads of different potential in here. L Connect comes packed with a number of different templates for the screen which you can use as standard and quickly apply, or alternatively, you can change the background of these and then use your own. So you can auto fill with animations, images, screen captures, and more. I downloaded some GIFs from Giphy for demonstration purposes, and you can see that you can pop those in and still have the same display really easily in the system as well. You can customize it and choose what you want on the screen in terms of the readouts, so you can do that if you want to too. But the default ones are really easy to apply and then you can also just change the backdrop of those with your own images if you get fed up with them. So it's nice and simple, straightforward, very user friendly to do. Obviously you can also adjust the lighting, so you have RGB lighting effects down the edge of the screen and you can go between different settings on here, choosing from the usual effects you'd expect to see in L Connect. so you obviously can combine them with Lee and Lee's fans to make for some nice views in the case. You can turn the brightness all the way down on that if you don't want to see it, and you can also set it so that it displays a clock when your machine isn't on. Now you might be wondering about whether the fan bracket blocks the fans and reduces the performance. My testing shows that actually it didn't have a negative impact on the CPU and GPU performance. The temperatures you can see here are with the system running at 4K and compared to testing it without the display in there, notice no difference in the overall performance of the system. So a great bit of kit to really add some new life to your system or to make it stand out from the crowd. This has been the Provoke for All. I hope you found this useful. Check out the links in the description to see where you can buy this and find out more about it and also to watch my other videos on setting it up fully in your build. Thanks for watching.